Salutations viewers, welcome to this production brought to you KTC of Farmer Media Productions. And in this video, I am going to be discussing a concept that is of paramount significance in as far as chemistry is concerned. And this concept is known as isotopes. Right. The word iso in Greek means the same. However, in chemistry, when we're defining an isotope, an isotope, we're talking about these are different atoms of the same element, different atoms of the same element with the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. I have written uh, three isotopes on the board. The first one, oxygen. I've written three nuclide notations for three different elements and I'm going to start with oxygen. As you can see, oxygen, we've got 18-8 and oxygen 16-8. The difference between these two oxygen atoms is on the mass numbers. If you check, the proton numbers are the same. So, mass number Right. That which is causing the mass number to be different is the number of neutrons. So, in as far as isotopes are concerned, the only difference that we have is the number of neutrons. The number of protons is the same. The number of electrons is the same. The chemical reactions are the same. Because chemical reactions are determined by the number of electrons. So, since these isotopes have got the same number of electrons, what it means is that their chemical reactions are the same. The only difference is the number of neutrons, which will subsequently result in the differences in number of the masses. So we have oxygen, 16-8, oxygen, 18-8. We have chlorine, 35-17, chlorine, 37-17. However, if you go in the periodic table, chlorine has got 35.5 as the mass number. And this is because of the relative abundances. Chlorine has got a relative abundance of 75%. This one has got a relative abundance of 25%. So by calculations, you will arrive on 35.5. Last but not least, carbon. 12.6, carbon, 14.6. These are two different isotopes. And they've got the same number of protons but different number of what? Of neutrons, as you can see on the board. Carbon is a very important element because we use carbon-12 as a yardstick to measure the other relative masses for other atoms. I hope you have been enlightened and I hope you are excelling in your studies. This is your host Chico Squared and the crew behind the scenes. Be blessed and say blessed. I salute you.